The Kenya Duty Free Shopping Complex, which provides tax free shopping opportunities for outward bound passengers at the Jomo Kenyatta and more international airports, began operations in Kenya in the 1990 as a subsidiary of the British based Ward Duty Free Company. The local franchise, which is owned by businessman Kamlesh Patni, currently operates 11 retail outlets and three lounges at the two international airports. The shops, which have remained a common feature for travellers, will now be relocated to a new site to allow room for the expansion and decongestion of the airport. And that can only be done by moving the non-core uh, activities of the airport. And, you know, duty-free shops, concessions and all that, they are not core to the travel. They are subsidiary. First to be moved will be shops whose leases have either expired or are expected to expire in the near future to create room for the expansion of the passenger launches. Kenya Airports Authority has identified some shops that will move in the initial phase. Um, we believe all the other leases are coming to an end by next year. <coughs> so all the leases will be terminated anyway. Meanwhile, the second phase of the expansion of the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport is back on course after initial delays occasioned by finalization of financing agreements. The project, which is expected to be completed by August next year at a cost of 5 billion shillings, will entail the construction of a new passenger terminal and parking space. Once completed, the airport will be able to handle 9.3 million passengers, up from the current figure of 2.3 million passengers. Denis Otieno, Citizen Business.